Y'all, like, I'm really, I'm really getting tired of the Deontay Wilder hate. The Deontay Wilder haters. Every time he pull off something that's incredible, every time he get a knockout, you always get these group of YouTubers that come together and, and they all come together like Voltron and come to form a coalition to hate on Deontay. Time and time again, they try to find an excuse. That's all he got. All he got is the right hand. That's a lucky punch. That's a listen, man. The man was lucky goddamn 41 times. He was lucky 40 times. He was lucky. Come on, bro. Make it make sense. The man got a talent. He know how to lay that right hand on you and bless your ass and kiss you goodnight. That is a skill, man. That's a talent, man. He got unbelievable power. Unbelievable power. They all coming out on YouTube. He was losing every round. He was getting boxed, outboxed cleanly. He still don't know how to fight nobody. He still ain't got no boxing skill. Ortiz was taking him to school, taking him to school. And he took him to school all he wanted to. But at the end of the day, that did not matter because he went night-night. He tasted that canvas, and he was done for. You saw his eyes roll to the back of his head like the Undertaker. You saw his whole face become disc discombobulated. You saw the sweat come off that man's head. He knocked that man's head dry. He made that man's head dry. For real. And he was done for. So all that, oh, he was losing a round, that don't matter. He got put, the, he got rocked to bed. Done deal is a done daughter. So all these, everybody trying to come out and, uh, wow, the one trick pony, one trick. That one trick can lay down any one of the top heavyweights. It can put any one of the top heavyweights to sleep. Dillian White, because he got dropped by Oscar Rivas. Dillian White can get dropped by that. Tyson Fury getting dropped by that. And AJ, for damn sure, getting dropped by that too. You can't, like, they're trying to find all type of ways to discredit Deontay and hate on him all the time. And right now, it's just getting annoying, right? Because I promise y'all, during, during the Floyd Mayweather era, all I heard was they want to see spectacular knockouts. We want to see guys knock guys out. We want to see guys finish guys. We tired of this. Uh, we know we know the sweet science. We don't care because that's what, you know, when, when people say, look, y'all don't care for the sweet science, they, the haters will respond, um, we know the sweet science, but it's boring. We don't want to see a guy outpoint a guy all the time. And no, we want to see somebody get laid out flat. We want to see a guy get put to sleep. You saw a guy get put to sleep last night. You saw a guy get put like he saw a dude get his almost get his head decapitated. No disrespect to Ortiz is a great talent. You saw that last night, but now you steady complaining. You see it all the time with Deontay. Then, oh, this is the one thing. Ortiz, he too old. He too old. He old. He old. And before the fight, because I, I watch a lot of different YouTubers uh, boxing uh, predictions. I watch a lot because I want to get the different perspective. I want to see what everybody is saying. I saw a lot of those haters YouTube channels, right? They all was saying how more skilled or Luis Ortiz was, how he had Deontay in trouble in the first fight, first fight which he did. Right? And how great Ortiz was looking. He looked great and all of that. But then they would try to hedge their bets. Hedging their bets. Oh, I'm not gonna they try to hedge their bets by saying stuff like, uh, um, well, I wouldn't be surprised. They would they would build up Ortiz and say how great he looked and how much of a, a technician he is and how much they would they wouldn't be surprised if Deontay would get rocked and they was picking some of them was picking Ortiz for the upset. A lot of them was. But then try to hedge their best by saying, well, he is 40 years old, so I don't know how long he could last with Deontay. No, don't do that. It could have been the first round. You know that man got the power in that right hand. Blessed from God. He got a tranquilizer in that right hand, and you know it. But you always trying to deny it. You steady in denial. Come on, come to the light and see what time it is. See what it really is, man. See what it really is, man. My man's was setting him up with them left hooks. And he said, my uncle told me, man, he's setting a trap for this man. He stayed patient. All the other criticism of Deontay. He's too wild. He wild. All he do is get wild and throw windmills. You didn't see no windmill last night. That was a straight right. Flush down the middle. Bah! You saw that, man, come on. You saw that and you it was clear. No, Nothing wild about it. The same type of shot he hit Dominic Brazil with. Straight right. And that's the deadliest one, man. He ain't even put all a whole bunch of umph on it. Straight right. Bah! That's how strong Deontay Wilder is, man. I'm, I'm telling y'all, he can knock out a farm animal, like my man Azim Richardson said. Like, 
That that man is superbly talented. And you always got all these guys steady in denial, trying to clown him out like, oh, he ain't he ain't that special. He ain't nothing. He ain't nothing. Still got out boxed. I don't give a damn. You could be on you could be winning the fight eleven rounds to none. If he bless you with that hand, it is good night. Sayonara. It's over with. So all these all these dudes steady coming out and hating and all of that. I'm seeing it all the time, and, and it's getting annoying. Guys just finding a reason to hate Deontay. Uh, uh, well, I knew I knew Ortiz was going to lose. We knew Ortiz was going to lose. Now, shut up. Shut up. No, you didn't. Shut up. You, you predicted that Luis Ortiz was going to win this. You saw what Deontay was in trouble in that seventh round, and you thought it would be the same type of script, and y'all all were saying how great Luis Ortiz was looking, and, he, and Luis Ortiz looked phenomenal. He fought a great fight. He looked sharp. He looked crisp. He fought a great fight. He was winning. He, I had him winning five rounds to one. But at the end of the day, it did not matter because we knew what was going to happen. All these boxing fans that he was talking about how boring the Floyd era was and how we needed knockouts and we want to see knockouts and we want to see guys put to sleep. We want to see guys get flattened, right? You want to see the you want to see the dude a, a dude come and just knock a dude out. Well, here you got it. You got a knockout artist in his prime right before your eyes, and you steady trying to deny him. Steady trying to deny him. And you mad as hell making these YouTube videos because the guy you picked to win or the guy that you really didn't want to win won the fight. You picked Ortiz to win, and you pissed because he went down after fighting a great fight. He fought a great fight, and then he still was nothing. It still did not matter because at the end of the day, you know and I know. You got to be a you you got to fight a perfect fight to beat Deontay Wilder. You got to fight a perfect fight. Any one mistake, any one slip up, leave yourself open for that right hand and it is a done deal. But all these dude, man, I'm telling you all these haters man, they all coming out in droves. Hating on the dude, man. The dude is an exciting fighter. You know you getting a knockout every time you see this man coming out into the ring with them like I'm um, with the dopest the dopest, uh, the dopest attire. That attire fly. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Dudes come out and hate. Oh, did, what does he got on? That 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 shit dope. That attire is fire, man. It's dope. But all these dudes coming out and hating and all of this now, nah, man. You see the black man walk over the top rope like the Undertaker, man, like Kane or something when he go over the top rope. You see him, man. The man is a spectacle. But in that ring, man, I promise you. I have never seen no devastating knockout power like this. I've never seen that. I saw Mike Tyson for sure, but I didn't really live through that like that. Like, I saw it. No, I saw Tyson, no doubt. But one punch, Deontay don't got to have, he don't got to build up to no combinations or nothing. One shot, one kill, what's the deal? So, you got dudes hating on him, talking about the way he talk. Who cares how he talks? He's not in the profession to be a Harvard scholar. The man is a flat-out warrior. A warrior. He's not trying to be no Harvard scholar. He's not trying to be a Rhodes scholar. None of that. He's a fighter. He's a warrior. Yeah, he's not the best technical fighter, but I ask y'all. Majority of the fights Deontay was in, he was against. He was fighting guys that were technically better than him. Technically better than him. He was behind on scorecards on several fights. Jill Washington was beating him. Uh, Do Halpas was calling, causing them problems. Ortiz was the first time. Uh, Fury was. And he damn near finished Fury. And you see that Deontay Powers power carries for rounds. In the 12th round, he gave uh, Fury a, a, a tough-ass shot he hit him with. But you steady got dudes in denial. Oh, he, he, he ain't nothing. He ain't nothing. Every time he found a way to win. I saw people so hating Deontay so much. They were trying to celebrate Marcellus Wilder, Mar Marcellus Wilder getting knocked out. Like his little brother got something to do with him. Right? Because they don't they don't associate Canelo's brother. That's a walking punching bag. They don't like to associate him with Canelo. He, his brother's fighting ability, fighting ability don't got nothing to do with him. They was trying to get a win off Marcellus getting knocked out. That's how far they was reaching. That's how bad they was reaching last night, man. All the time is always something. I'm looking like, well, damn. Here y'all go. I'm watching these channels, man, and they, oh, so what? He was, he was, so what? He was, he was a 40-year-old man, and, 
as expected. He fighting a, a, a 50 year old Jerry, all that bullshit. But if that dude fought one of your guys, if he fought one of the guys that you like, you would have been building him up. If he would have gave, if he would have gave Tyson Fury a tough fight, y'all would have been, oh, he was a game fighter. He was if Ortiz would give Tyson Fury a tough fight, like I believe he would, y'all would have been gassing him up the same way y'all gassed up Otto Valine. When ain't nobody, no, he wasn't on nobody radar. He touched Tyson Fury up, gave him that cut, and y'all was gassing him up. Gassing him up to try to build up Tyson Fury. That's the same thing y'all would have. That's the same thing y'all would have did. Had Ortiz would have been fighting Fury, Anthony Joshua, Dylan, Dylan White, Dylan White, and all of them, all of them that y'all love, all the guys that y'all love to discredit Wilder. Y'all would have been gassing Ortiz up had he would have fought one of your guys and gave a tough performance. Where you know he's come from that Cuban background, like we all say. Because <clears throat> Ortiz is really skilled. And everybody know it. He's a dangerous fighter for he's a dangerous fight for any one of these heavyweights. Come from that tough Cuban background. He's a southpaw. Got a deep amateur background. And he just got skill, man. He know how to fight, man. He knows how to fight. And his only problem was. He got a little too overconfident and got relaxed for a minute, and it was over. That was all she wrote, and uh, Ortiz folded like a lawn chair at the family reunion. Like a lawn chair at the barbecue on Labor Day in your grandma's backyard. That's how he got folded. For real, man. Straight up. The man got folded like that. So, I'm tired of this, because if he would have fought all your other, all them guys y'all love and would have had a tough fight against your guy, you would have talked about how great he was, and then y'all wouldn't, we, we wouldn't even hear no jokes about him being old. But because he fighting the bronze bomber, now you got a problem. Now you want to try to act like, oh, he's a billion years old and all this and all of that. Man, look, any one of the top heavyweights get hit with that shot we saw yesterday. They hitting that canvas. They hitting that canvas. Because the power is real. A lot of people are like, oh, it's a fixed fight, it's a dive. You can't fight. You can't fake getting your head, get, getting hit like that. Nah, fam. Not the whole sweat getting knocked off your head like that. When they saw it from the other angle, because some people was like, it didn't even look like he hit him that hard. Then they saw that other angle, they was like, oh, yeah, yes, he did. It's for real. But I'm trying to expose all these haters, man, because they was hating Floyd era so much, and Floyd ain't nothing, and... We want to see knockouts. What happened to the exciting fights? What happened to the thrilling knockouts? What happened to the guys that was putting land dudes down flat? We missed the Tyson era. We missed the Tyson type knockouts. Well, here you have it. A guy providing Tyson ty Tyson type knockouts for y'all to see. And you steady want to deny him. You steady want to deny him because he's confident. Because he's a confident man. He stand up. He talk about black issues facing the black people in America. He's not scared. He don't hold his tongue. He don't give a damn what you feel, what you don't like, how you don't like it, and how you wish he wouldn't do this and wish he wouldn't do that. He don't give a damn. He is who he is, and he's proud of it. And as he say, as he always say, I'm not all these, oh, you losing rounds. All that. I'm winning a fight, family. I'm winning a fight. These dudes got to be perfect for 12 rounds. He could be perfect for two seconds. That split second could mean the end of the fight. Those two seconds can mean the end of the fight. You know that. You know that. And I know that. So all these haters, man, I'm, all y'all, I promise y'all. Tyson Fury even said, that power real. Ben Davidson, his trainer, like, he, he got he got unreal type power. It's surreal. Because, long, like, straight up, Tyson Fury got up. But let me tell you, when he hit that canvas, his eyes rolled to the back of his head and he was out of it. He was out of it. Say all you want to. Say I'll talk all you want. He got power, and that power makes up for him losing any technical fight. Any mismatched guys could be winning on all the scorecards. Throw the perfect jab. Throw the perfect hook. The most crisp uppercut. All of that. It don't matter. It's over with. Machiavelli Mills TV. Put some respect on a bronze bomber name. Peace.